Stan Gibalisco here to explain how you can use an ohm meter to test an end channel junction field effect transistor. I've already explained how to test a P channel junction field effect transistor. Before I continue, I should note that these um, tests for the junction field effect transistors, both N channel and P channel, do not apply to metal oxide devices or MOSFETs, metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistors. These tests will not work with MOSFETs because MOSFETs do not have junctions in them. That's where the term junction field effect transistor comes from. We have a PN junction between the channel here and the gate. And in the case of an N channel device, the uh, channel is made of N type material, so it's like one great big cathode, and the gate is connected to a P type material uh, so that it um, <clears throat> serves as, an, as a little anode. So that's how that uh, all works. So you can use an ohmmeter provided that that ohmmeter produces enough electricity at its leads in the ohmmeter mode to overcome the forward breakover voltage at this PN junction right here. And nominally for a silicon device that uh, forward breakover voltage is on the order of six tenths of a volt. If this ohmmeter will not <coughs> produce enough electricity voltage in the ohmmeter mode to overcome that, then you will not see any conduction in any case with a, a device that has a silicon PN junction in it, and it'll, you'll get bogus results. Um, now, I found that my analog ohmmeter does have enough voltage for this purpose, but the digital, my precision true RMS digital ohmmeter, did not produce sufficient voltage for these uh, tests, so it <coughs> couldn't be used. Then you need to be certain which lead of your ohmmeter produces the positive electricity and which lead produces the negative. In my case, the red lead it has a negative polarity, a negative voltage, and the black lead has a positive voltage. So electrons will emerge from here and enter here. Electron current flows from minus to plus and that's the kind of current we'll talk about here. We'll forget about conventional current and all of that stuff. So here is your end channel junction field effect transistor. You can connect these two leads of the ohmmeter to the three leads of this device, the source, the gate, and the drain, in six possible ways. So let me just show you those six ways and what results you should get assuming this device is not burned out. First of all, if you connect the negative terminal of your ohmmeter to the gate and the positive terminal to the source, you will not see conduction because electrons are trying to flow with the arrow. Remember, in a PN junction, electron current can only flow against the arrow. However, if you connect your positive lead there, and your negative lead here, then you will see electrons flow from the source to the gate through that junction. And you will see a, a reading on your ohmmeter of somewhere, oh, a few tens of ohms. I tended to see 40 to 50 ohms. It really doesn't matter. In the non-conduction case, you will see <laughs> infinity. The, the needle won't budge on your meter. So uh, this is the, the two tests for the gate and the source. Now in, in, in regards to the gate and the drain, you should see exactly the same results as you would with the gate and the source. Electrons can flow in this direction from to the cathode and to the anode against the arrow. However, if you try to reverse that polarity, or if you do reverse it and connect your negative lead to the gate and your positive lead to the drain, 
you will not see conduction you will see infinity ohms because electrons can't flow with the arrow now an interesting thing happens between the uh, drain and the source that's very interesting because this is a channel it is a continuous more or less strip of n-type semiconductor material so it will conduct in either direction you will get conduction with the negative at the source and the positive at the drain and you will get conduction with the negative at the drain and the positive at the source so those are the results that you should expect when you test an n-channel junction field effect transistor not a metal oxide device remember now a junction field effect transistor with an ohmmeter if you get any results other than the ones I've just described to you chances are your poor old JFET has bitten the dust Stan Jibalisco signing off for now until next time so long